Are you a gamer? Do you like breakfast? Cause boy, do I have the toaster for you. Here I have the official Sonic the Hedgehog toaster, the limited edition stainless steel toaster that allows you to eat bread with the crispy image of Sonic's face on it. Yeah, seriously. This product exists. In this video, I'll be talking about the odd and forgotten history of this enhancing bread device and why it even exists in the first place. As with all things, let's start at the beginning. On June 12, 2018, Sega tweeted, Every year at E3, publishers large and small announce fantastic new games. This year, we're changing it up a bit, presenting the all new Sonic Toaster. They announced this project would be crowdfunded and said if they were to sell a thousand of these toasters by July 12, 2018, they'd put the toaster into production. And wouldn't you know it, they sold 1,400 toasters by the deadline, and you could still buy one a short time after. While there's no official number of these toasters made, we can safely assume there's just shy of 2,000 of these puppies in the hands of Sonic fans, which means this is one of the rarest toasters in gaming history. The real question is, what inspired this toaster? Well, I'm not sure at all. It doesn't seem like there's a clear indicator, but I do have some theories. The time this was announced, there was tons of hype surrounding E3, but the Sonic franchise didn't have much to show. The year prior, Sega was praised for releasing the first decent Sonic game in a long time with Sonic Mania. So in order for there to be a bit more representation for Sonic, there would be a toaster to take his place instead of a game at E3 that year. They did show off a bit of Team Sonic Racing, but just a gameplay trailer. This invention could have also been a reference to the popular YouTuber at the time, Sonic Toast. This product seemed to be made for this guy. I used to always watch his channel, and I think that was another reason this product clicked with me instantly when I bought it. But it could have just been a coincidence. I don't know. But another reason I decided I had to have one of these toasters was because it was only $35 to buy this obscure product. Yeah, some people might not understand that financial decision, but like, <laughs> come on, it's a Sonic toaster. So is this toaster all it's hyped up to be? Let's find out. Let's take a look at the box. First thing that pops out is, gotta toast fast. We'll find out if it actually does soon enough. On the left side of the front of the box, we can see the Sonic the Hedgehog logo with a sleek limited edition banner underneath. We also have the classic Sonic render looking like he's getting revved up for a toasty time. We also see a beautiful photo of two pieces of toasted bread on a plate with an orange in front of the checkered background reminiscent of Green Hill Zone. On the top of the box, we can see an upscaled version of the logo with the Gotta Toast Fast stamp. On the right side of the box, we have a compelling reason why we should toast our toast in this toaster. This says, are you tired of the same old bread? Do you find yourself constantly on the go and need a quick breakfast before you head out collecting those rings? Well, do we have the toaster for you? And then there's the same picture of the toast directly underneath. We also get some really cool Sonic cartoon outlines on the whole box, accenting everything. On the other side of the box, it's just an image of Sonic holding a piece of toast like my shirt, and text that simply says toaster. On the back of the box, we have the same image of Sonic with a little yellow notepad looking thing that says, hey you, yes, you with the face, reading this note. You know what, you're pretty great. You're one of the chosen few who helped make this toaster a reality. Without you, we'd be forever doomed to the same boring generic crispy bread. So from all of us at Sega, here's a toast to you. Thank you for making our fans dream come true. You're welcome. And on the bottom of the box, it gives us health and safety warnings. And it turns out, just like Sonic, this toaster can't swim either, so no getting it wet. So after taking it out of the box, I discovered I must not have let it cool down before putting it back in the box last time, because the cord is melted. Oops. I wiped it down and was ready to insert some white bread. I cranked it to the highest setting and pushed down. The toaster smelled like burning plastic on the first run. And after I learned I was scared of toasters, the Sonic Toast was aggressively ejected from the toaster. As you can see, unless the toast is completely centered, the logo and the edge won't be in the middle of the bread. So, on high, the toaster cycle was 3 minutes and 38 seconds, roughly. And the medium setting was 2 minutes and 24 seconds. The lowest setting was under a minute 30, but there wasn't a noticeable print of Sunky. It's not until you put it up to level 2 or 3 before Sonic makes his appearance. As for the Gotta Toast Fast slogan, I wouldn't consider this toaster to be necessarily speedy, but it did toast a tad faster than my regular pop-up toaster, with the other toaster taking 30 seconds longer on medium heat and one and a half minutes longer on high heat. But with that said, it did get more toasted and was more evenly toasted. So while the Sonic Toaster is on the speedier side of toasting, it's not really that big of a difference. And the other toaster toasts better. But let's use these buttons on the side. First we'll try reheat, which is pretty fast, but that's because all it does is mildly warm the bread doesn't toast it any further. Then we get defrost. So first I put some bread in the freezer, waited a few hours until it was frozen solid, and then put it in. It seems to just toast it regularly, nothing special. But now, bagel mode. It just toasted my bagel. And there is no visible print on the bagel at all, even on the highest setting. 
it doesn't help that Sonic's face would be where the hole is. They really didn't think bagel mode through well enough. It's still toasted though, so at least I had a delicious golden ring to eat. White bread obviously shows Sonic the Hee Hog the best, but let's try some other stuff, like English muffins. It didn't seem to show any visible Sonic head on the inside due to the light and uneven surface. But on the outside, there's a very slight tan print, and you can really only see the tip of the Sonic spikes and a bit of the face shape. Next, we had a frozen Eggo waffle. This was only toasted evenly on the back. Then there's just a very dull, gooey other side where Sonic's face is trying to be. Last but not least, we have the classic strawberry Pop-Tart. The Pop-Tart came out better than I expected, with the non-frosted side having a clean Sonic face on it and the frosted side having a visible brown shape. I also wanted to see how long it would take to burn my house down. After the second toast, I decided that was enough. But now you can really see the black blur. So all that to say, is the Sonic toaster worth it? Well, not as an everyday appliance, especially because the handle kept getting jammed and the toast sometimes wouldn't come out all the way when the bread was done. But this definitely is more of a party trick or something your fellow Sonic loving colleagues would think is funny. Though the toaster is a great collectible for Sonic fans in your life, it's just a Sonic toaster and only one side is fully toasted. And I've seen people say, the toast is so bad because the part, it doesn't toast. But no, you don't really notice the non-toasted parts of the bread around Sonic's face when the edges are toasted in the way they are, unless you're a toast critic. Also, Sega is still selling merch with Sonic Toast. You can buy t-shirts, like I have, see? I got a t-shirt of Sonic Toast. And you can buy mugs on the official Sega website still. You can't buy the toaster, but I think it's a great way to keep people curious about Sonic's toasty origins. So yeah, there's the Sonic Toaster. If you could time travel back in 2018, would you pick this up? Let me know. And if you have one, let me know as well. And you can join the Sonic Toaster fan club. Thank you for watching this video all the way to the end. And if you liked it, please consider liking and subscribing. I hope to see you in the next one. See you later.